Um, I was present at your debate uh, at NC State with Lawrence Krauss. I'm pretty, yes. I'm pretty familiar. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the statement of philosophers are good at nothing but navel gazing pretty much. Um, as a theology student, how could you give some explanations or some examples of how can I use my philosophy to aid my theology, my thinking and my theology? Uh, or what you would probably say is uh, more conceptual distinctions, maybe? There you go. That, that's one of them. Krauss and others of these scientistic ilk don't understand philosophy, and therefore they're fooled by it themselves. And you see this in Krauss's uh, naive statements about nothing, and how, well, that's a different kind of nothing than, than this kind of nothing. One of the most important tools that philosophy gives is conceptual analysis to help you understand concepts and make distinctions that are important for doing good theological work. Um, another way would be in clarifying logical implications. <laughs> Contemporary analytic philosophy prizes itself on clarity of definitions and then logical implications, using the rules of logic to draw out the implications of what you affirm. Philosophy is also very, very useful in rooting out the unspoken presuppositions or assumptions of a view that often the proponents of the view are, are completely unaware of. So in all of those ways, I think philosophy serves greatly the task of theology. In fact, a student was speaking to me before the meeting tonight, saying, should I study theology at such and such a seminary? And I said, no, I wouldn't, because they don't have a strong philosophical department there. And that surprised him. And I said, I don't think you can do good systematic theology without a strong philosophical component. <laughs> Doctrines like the Trinity, the two natures of Christ, and so forth, are philosophically imbued. They, they are rooted in the philosophical reflections of the church fathers on things like personhood and natures, and so cannot be understood apart from some grasp of fundamental philosophical concepts. And one of the great movements that's starting to happen in contemporary Christian philosophy is a renaissance of philosophical theology more and more Christian philosophers are encroaching into the realm traditionally held by theologians. And they are writing articles on things like Trinity, incarnation, inspiration. Uh, Eleanor Stump even did an article on the, the filling of the Holy Spirit using philosophical analysis. So these <coughs> traditional theological concepts can be tremendously illuminated by philosophical study in the ways that I described. 